It's rules for girls. Glitter girls. Ali Finkel's Rules for Girls, Glitter Girls, was written by Meg Cabot and published by Macmillan in 2010. It is about Ali Finkel, who is a fourth grader, which means she is nine or ten years old. Every day, Ali attends her new school, Pine Heights Elementary, with her new friends, Erica, Caroline and Sophie. One day, Ali's mother arranges for her to go to the birthday party of Brittany Hauser, the meanest girl at her old school and whom she hates. Although her conscience tells her no, Ali is tempted by the limo ride to Glitterati, dinner at Cheesecake Factory and a night in a fancy hotel, so she goes to the party. Has Brittany changed for the better or is she still as mean as Ali remembers? Read Glitter Girls to find out. I really loved this book. Now, I need to say straight away that this isn't actually the first book in the series, but it doesn't matter. Uh, you can read them in any order. And in fact, the author fills you in on any details that you might need to know uh, if you are reading them out of order. Anyway, I loved it. The characters and situations are absolutely believable. Uh, the story is compelling, which means you pay attention to it because it is so exciting and interesting. And overall, it is about difficult situations uh, with friends that girls and boys might find themselves in. And it's useful to read about these so you can think about what you might do in the same situation, you know, and have some idea about that which can be pretty important, actually. I have no negatives about this book. I thought it was excellent. Uh, nothing to improve. All right, there's no pictures, but it's not that kind of book. There's one on the front, good enough. So in terms of the situations in this book, I'm going to read uh, an extract now. This is your chance to have a think about whether this book seems a little difficult for you or too easy or just right. Have a think about how many words you know as I read aloud and any words that you don't know, think about whether these would be a problem for you for understanding the story or whether you could just read it anyway. Here we go. Brittany shook her head, staring at me. I didn't know when I'd done it, but I could tell by the look on her face that I'd somehow wandered over to Brittany's bad side. See, this was exactly why I had the book of rules, because you could never tell when you were going to do something to make a girl mad at you, even without meaning to. All I'd done was say I didn't want to be a pirate, and now the birthday girl was mad at me. No, Brittany said, narrowing her eyes at me. Ali wants to be a pirate, don't you, Ali? I absolutely did not want to be a pirate. I did not want to dress like one or have my photo taken as one. I never, ever, not once in my life had expressed a single desire to be or look like a pirate. This was not the vision I had for my future. I wanted to be an actress slash veterinarian. I had my costume all ready to go. But I could tell by the look on Brittany's face that if I didn't do what she said, I was going to be in big trouble. Just like the time when Brittany had put Lady Serena Archibald in the suitcase. And like that time, I didn't want to back down. I didn't want to give up on my dream of being an actress slash veterinarian. But this wasn't like someone having to put a live animal into a suitcase. This was just a girl who wanted me to dress a certain way and get my picture taken. Also, it was her birthday, not mine. You can't do something on purpose to make the birthday girl unhappy on her birthday. That was a rule. And one I'd learned the hard way, way back on Mary Kay's birthday. It was one of the reasons why Mary Kay and I weren't best friends anymore. I'd ended up realizing Mary Kay hadn't been the world's best friend anyway. But I didn't want to ruin Brittany's birthday the way I had Mary Kay's either. This wasn't a good way to make or keep friends. 
And the truth was, what did it matter? It was one day. And just because you dressed up like a pirate while wearing glitterati dust didn't mean you were going to magically transform into a pirate when you grew up. That's a rule. Fine, I said, and handed my pile of stuff to Lauren. She was the one who was getting to be a teen superstar after all. I'll be a pirate. And that's exactly what I ended up being. I couldn't believe it. I let Summer pick out a girl pirate outfit for me. Stupid baggy boots, black velvet pants, white blouse, red sash, sword vest. Basically what my brother Kevin had insisted on wearing to school every day for months. Then headed over to the makeover booths for my transformation. Where a guy about Uncle Jay's age, only his name was Randy, ran a straightener through my hair and put some eyeliner on me that he said was the same kind Kira Knightley wore in the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. But when I looked at my reflection in the big dressing room mirror, I didn't look very different from when I'd sat down a few minutes before. So I asked Randy if I could please have some sparkly stickers on my face like Summer's. He said yes, and put one on the corner of my right eye. Only, since I was dressed like a pirate, not a fairy, mine was a single diamond teardrop. To represent my sorrow for my victims, Randy said. So, that at least was okay. Then it was time to see how everyone else's transformations had turned out. I came out of my makeover booth waving my sword, feeling a little better about not getting to be an actress slash veterinarian. Because I actually looked like a pretty cool pirate girl. But when they saw me, Brittany, Lauren, Paige and Mary Kay started laughing. Oh no, Brittany said. Ali, you look so stupid. Why? I looked down at myself. I'm a pirate. This is how you told me to dress. I know. Brittany said, still laughing, but I didn't think it would look so dumb. Brittany, Mrs. Hauser was there, taking pictures of all of us. Ali, you look adorable. You don't look dumb at all. But actually, compared to the other girls, I did look dumb. They looked super grown up and sophisticated in their outfits as superstars, rock stars, prep school princesses, goth vampires and urban fairies. I was the only one who looked like a kid wearing a Halloween costume even with my diamond tear drop of sorrow. I told you, I said, fingering my red sash, pirates are for six-year-olds. I thought you'd be a cool pirate, Brittany said, like Kira Knightley, but I guess not. Oh well. That's all. Just oh well. Like it didn't matter that she destroyed my unique shopping experience at Glitterati. Which I guess I wasn't really having anyway, since I didn't have any money, so I couldn't really buy anything. But still, what about my chance to exercise my imagination and creativity and live my dream of envisioning my future and all that? Unlike my little brother, I'd never envisioned my future as a pirate, for Pete's sake. This book is a little challenging, so it is suitable for more confident readers. There are six books in the series. I would recommend it to girls and boys who want to understand more about friendships and growing up and for anyone who is confident enough to read chapter books without pictures. Mr. O absolutely approves of Ali Finkel's Rules for Girls, Glitter Girls.